Dame is now officially a Milwaukee Buck. Well, maybe not officially, but you get the point. Details are that he's been traded. Now, listen, if you're a Heat fan, you're punching the air right now. You are punching the air right now. Now, how Pat Riley, again, allowed a star to slip out of his grasp, I don't know. That's not the point of this video. This point of the video was now the fact that the, the, the entire Eastern Conference is a little tilted and it was already tilted before the trade happened because Milwaukee was already one of the favorites or at least uh, at least top three in this in this particular conference. Now, I think they definitely are the favorites. Milwaukee gave up very little in terms of in my, what I would say pieces to get Dame in the building. Now, mind you, I have said and I've said it on different platforms. You catch me on the Windy City Breeze Monday through Friday. Talk to uh, Chicago Sports at Chicago Talk. Y'all get in tune with that. Anyway, um, I've said this before. Milwaukee had the better trade package for Dame. If you looked at what they specifically wanted, they wanted picks, potentially wanted a, a they wanted a star level player. Drew Holiday is one of the best perimeter uh, defenders, one of the best guards in the league, one of the best point guards still in the league. I mean, it, it's it's ugh, you, you get a lot there. Right. So that right there already tilted them in my favor as far as teams who were willing to put a package together to trade. We knew Philly wasn't going to uh, sit there and give up Maxi. I think that's a smart move. And with the James Harden thing, that's even better. Like the teams that really could get into that fight was Milwaukee, Golden State, maybe. We knew he weren't going to do that. Like those type of teams. And Milwaukee got it done. Now, here's the one thing I will say I love this for Dame. I love the fact that Dame gets to go to, I would still consider Milwaukee a small market. Being from Chicago, you all know Chicago's a bigger market, even though we haven't won in, in recent history. But it's a, a bigger market. Milwaukee still gives you small town vibes. He's gonna He can go there and be a hero there. And it's still something that isn't too far from the vibe that he was. That, it gives me Portland vibes. It just does. It gives me Portland vibes. Now, here's the difference, though. And this is what I love about the Milwaukee Bucks. This is what I love about that organization. They had one season, off season, in which Giannis was like, I'm like, he showed a little bit of wavering in his commitment to them. And they said, I, 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 don't worry about it. We got you, my boy. We got you. Hey, press the button. They get Dame in the building. Same summer, same season. You got to love it. You have to love that right there. If you are a Milwaukee Bucks fan, oh, God, you. You have to love how your organization handled it. Change of the guard, so to speak, as far as ownership, things of that nature, changing the they were changing a lot of things, but they saw Giannis like, hey, I want to win still. And they showed that they were committed to helping him win by making moves that would put him in a position to still compete years years on end. And I honestly think if they don't get injured, if Giannis Dame doesn't get injured, you're looking at the Eastern Conference champion. The way that team is constructed, the way they're running. Now, obviously, a lot can happen in between them. But if they don't get injured and they jail, chemistry is a big thing. I want you all to keep that in mind. Chemistry is a really, really big thing. But if that jail works, and I think it will, I think it will. Dame has already spoken very highly of Giannis. Giannis has already spoken very highly of him. I think they've actually had a time to actually, uh, you know, kick it uh, well before the end. I think this is a situation in which it works out. But at the same time, it's one thing where Giannis now has a dominant uh, guard that he can go to who can take over a game. He does it in a way that Drew Holiday never did. Drew Holiday is a bucket. Don't get me wrong. There's levels to this. If Drew is here, Dame is here. And that's how I have it. I think Drew is highly underrated, but I do think there's some limitations to his game that Dame just doesn't have. Now, you do trade off a little defense. I do believe, outside of Giannis being a freak of nature, Drew Holiday was the best defender and probably the best defender at the point guard position in the league. Bar none. I don't care who won Defensive Player of the Year as a guard. Marcus Smart never deserved that one, in my in my opinion. But, I mean, that's the that's you make up so much with what Dame does on the other end. I think it kind of evens out. All in all, I think it's a heck of a move by the Bucks. I think it's a heck of a move for Dame. And ultimately, I think it's it's one that you I think people will still respect even if he wins. Cuz Dame really did not want to go. He didn't want to go to a a, a marquee city that was already stacked. Like he didn't want to do a Phoenix move. He didn't want to do a Golden State move. But he also ultimately had no control over his future. 
So I I think people will respect it. Now to get into some of the trade details for those who didn't know and some who may be tuning into this uh, platform, he's part of a three team uh, deal: Drew Holiday, DeAndre Aiden, and Kamara. A twenty twenty nine unprotected Milwaukee first and a twenty and an unprotected Milwaukee uh, pick swap in twenty twenty eight and twenty thirty to the Blazers. So essentially. You know, there's a there's a couple things. Grayson Allen was also in that trade. Isaiah Little, Keon, uh, Keon Johnson. There's a lot of different pieces there. The ultimate thing is obviously you know that the, the Dame got moved, but picks were involved. There were three picks involved to get this done. But if you really look at it, it was three picks. Drew Holiday, and you know, no one's gonna hate hate on Grayson Allen being moved. Now, the one thing I will say in this video is gonna make a separate video. Some other teams did get better. I think Phoenix, who put all the chips in are going very very they they went gun heavy they say we're going to out shoot you out ball you and we're going to figure out the rest as we fall uh as we go to cl get close to the season they got a lot better i really am predicting a rematch between kevin durant and Giannis, but it's going to be in the finals and i can't wait to see it but i want to hear your thoughts man i want to hear your thoughts on the trade i want to hear what you all feel is going to be what is this impact how does this tilt the scales how does this ultimately make the eastern conference i don't it don't make it more competitive i tell you that much i mean it's a i don't i don't believe in boston i'm gonna be honest with you i don't believe in boston i don't believe in philly uh the bulls are just not we're not in a position right now to compete uh with that level of talent right now I don't know, man. Listen, I think I think again. You're looking at the Eastern Conference champs. You're looking at a a, a nice little run, finals run. I can see them both getting to the finals, two out of the next three years. Barring anybody making some like Hulk level groundbreaking move, I I think you're looking at the Eastern Conference champs for the next couple years. But I, again, I want to hear your thoughts. Well, this level to say, I want you to put it in the comments. We will get other videos and updates on this as this trade unfolds. You will see get something on the Phoenix side because I do feel like they got better. I do feel like I feel like Portland Portland is finally committing to their rebuild. So shout out to them. But at the end of the day, you know, I didn't like how that worked out. So screw Portland. But again, by this level, this eight, put it in chat. I'll be in there with you. Till next time.